Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're here playing Phasmophobia. But uh, today's video is a little bit different. I'm not going to be the one playing Phasmophobia today. Today, my mom is going to be uh, doing the training in Phasmophobia. Oh my god. <laughs> she clearly isn't excited for this, but I'm making her do it anyway. Um, so go ahead and click on the training. Uh, So, uh, it'll basically tell you how to play when you go into the house, so you're just going to have to figure it out. <laughs> I don't like ghosts. Well, too bad. <laughs> I tricked her into coming in here. I said I was going to show her something, and then I made her play the game. <laughs> Guys, he lied to me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, so you use the mouse to look around. And you use W to go forward, S backward, A left, D right. Okay. Oh, forget it. I already forgot. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff. So first of all, grab the key by pressing... Uh, look at the key and press E. I don't even see a key. Okay, so look on the desk by the computer. Yeah. Like, look at it in the game. You see the oh, key? Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. So press E while looking at that. All right, good. Now go to the back of the van and grab, okay, actually at the bottom by the book, you see that flashlight uh, on the shelf there? Yeah, grab that, you have to go down and crouch, you press C. Ugh. <laughs> you did go toward it, you're too far away. And, no, E, press E to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and then you left click to turn it on. No, right click, sorry. All right, now press C again to uncrouch. And go over to that number pad and left click on it. See the number pad? See the, the one with the blue glowing keys? Yeah. Yeah, go press that. I'm trying to. Walk up to it. That's not it. You're pressing a pink. You said the blue numbers. You see, you see the blue numbers on there? This? Yeah. 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 To press it. With what? Okay. So you <laughs> s you see the see the little little circle here? That's the center. That's where your stuff is. So oh, I couldn't see that because yeah. of the white wall. Yeah. Oh my god. All right. Head on into the house. <laughs> this is amazing. This one? Yep. The only one you can go into. I don't like it. It's creepy already. Too bad. So read it. You can walk up to it. Those are all the controls. You're right! <laughs> I'm not gonna remember that! Are you kidding? I just am starting to learn now how to walk forward and backward. <laughs> By the way, she's never played a computer game on keyboard and mouse before. She's used to like the the NES controller, so this is gonna be fun. You're right. I can't do this. All right, what do I do now? Whatever. All right, so press the TV remote again. All right, now what does it say? On an investigation, you will have around five minutes before the ghost will anger you and drop sanity faster. What the heck? Use this time to set up equipment and find the ghost. For today, though, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I'll go to the next slide. Press, press the remote again. I can't see where the thing is. So let's go find the ghost room. So what I want you to do is to make this easier, go back to the truck. And you can hold down the shift key with your pinky to go faster. Get around more. Back up a little bit and then look down slightly. All right, so in the middle, right there, do you see that? That's called an EMF reader. So pick that up. E. Press E. Alright, 
So now press Q to swap to it. Now right click to turn it on. Press T to turn on your flashlight. Now go back into the house and start going in the rooms and uh, until you until the uh, uh, reader starts to beep and the level goes up. Okay. So that's how we're gonna find out what room the ghost is in. Then we're gonna do what the TV says and put a camera up in that room. So start with the rooms on your left. That's a closet. You're inside of the closet. Good job. Also turn on the lights if you want to by clicking the by left clicking on the um, light switches on the walls. You see light switch there? Okay. See now if you turn on too many lights, the breaker will pop and you have to go turn the breaker. Why is it so dark if I turn the light on? Uh, certain areas are more dark. Really. Uh, some doors you have to push open, so pull. So it's a, yeah. That thing moved. No, it didn't. There's a thing behind it moving. What is that? That's, that's the shadow. Why is the shadow moving? Uh, because that's how light works. Where's the light switch? <laughs> <laughs> light switch is uh, on the other side of the door. Of course. So this is the, the baby's room, looks like. See, there's the light switch. Okay. It's so dark in here. What kind of lights are in this house? Alright, so it doesn't look like it's in this room, so why don't I move to the next room? The next room is the bathroom. Or. Oh! It opened the door! Alright, go over towards the TV. The door to your left. Wait, stop. It's in there. Walk towards the door. I don't want to. Walk towards the door. Walk it, towards it. It closed. You, yeah, it was, you closed. You had to walk towards it. To open it. Left click. Now walk into the room. You can turn the light on if you want. It might turn it off though. Okay, so check those two doors. I don't want to. Well, you have to. Check the doors until you find something. Okay, they both seem to be slightly opened, so. I don't see the little cl uh, clicker thing out there. Oh, turn it. Oh, turn around. Turn around, it's messing with the door again. Look at the door you walked in from. He's slightly closed now. Alright, so open that door. Walk towards it while holding one click to open it. I don't know how to face the door. Move, move the mouse. Oh, I hear it walking around. Alright, good. So you can walk in there. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's anything in there. What we're gonna have you do is go back to the truck and do what the TV says now. Grab a camera and put a camera in there. I'll tell you how to put the camera down. So we know what room the ghost is in now. That's pretty good. That's a wall. Wait. How do I get out of here? There it is. The front door. No. That's the kitchen. That's the exit. Good job. <laughs> What do I get now? Okay, so on the shelves, grab a video camera. So you see there's four of them on the middle row. Grab one by pressing E. Yeah, go towards it. Good boy. All right, good. So now uh, press Q again to swap to it. Good, now left click. Uh, me right click. All right, good, now go back into that room.
Okay, good. So Where's the light switch? It's over there. The, the ghost turned the light off. Alright, so look on the desk behind you with the, the, the laptop. Hold down left click. Hold it down. Alright, let go. Oh, no. Okay, keep going. We want it to basically face the bed. Okay, so look at that. Like, look at the desk. Hold on, left click until the front of the camera is facing. Yeah, good. Now press F. Alright, good. So head back to the truck and we're gonna watch the camera. I thought it was in the room. No, you're in the room right now that it's in. Oh, I thought it was over there. You're there. basically standing like right next to it. Oh, great. <laughs> It really likes those doors. Okay. If we can get 10 likes on today's video, I'll have my mom come back and play a real, um, a real, uh, real match. No, don't do it, guys. Yes, get to 10 likes and I'll make her do it. Okay. So, it seems to be that the light is on and there's a chair in your way. So, let's go move the camera. So, you gotta go back in the room. Oh. Uh, you're looking on the screen here. Yeah. So we have to go in there, move it so <sighs> the cam so the camera isn't being blocked by the chair, and then we have to turn the lights off in the room so it, you can see more clearly. It's not all white. Press E. See the camera? Press E. Now go to the other side of the desk. Here? Yeah. Wait, but before you put it down, you put it, look at the corner of the desk. Uh oh. Come on now. It's flashing the lights. Okay, so it's at the door. So look at the corner of the desk. Alright, now hold down left click a tiny bit. So you just like click click one more time. Alright, now press F. And now we're gonna head back to the truck and we're gonna try that. Um, but first turn off the lights and then we can head back to the truck. I don't want to turn off the light. <laughs> Wait, I went the wrong way. Well, do you think? Go a little closer to it. So the waiting game is a little painful. Another 30 seconds and then we'll try the next thing. Because usually, if it's ghost orbs, you usually see them pretty fast, so. Oh, as you were me the last time I played the game, and the ghost orbs never showed up, for some reason. It must have been one of the weird out-of-bound glitches where like, the orbs spawn out-of-bound. Alright, so it doesn't look like we're having ghost orbs. So, head back to the, uh, go back into the house and go back to the TV. Don't go into the room this time, just go to the TV. Since you didn't see a ghost orb, go to the next screen by pressing the remote. Gotta go closer to it. <laughs> Too far away. What? I did it. Oh! I'm blind. Okay. So, grab the ghost writing book and place it inside the ghost room. If the ghost writes in the page, then write it down on the last page of your journal. Go to the next screen. And I think I just heard the ghost throw something. Oh, no, you don't want to go to the next week yet, so head back to your van and grab the book. When we go in there, I want to see if he threw some stuff, because it sounded like he was throwing stuff. There's too many trips back and forth to the van. Well, once you play it enough, you learn what to take and what not to take with you. But, this is your first time playing, so you get to go back and forth. You get to play the back and forth game. So... Down on the bottom floor, or the bottom shelf, where all the equipment was, grab the book. And you do crouch, press C, then you go towards it, pick it up. With E, go towards it. Good. So now uh, uncrouch by pressing C again. And now go into the ghost room.
And you can turn the lights on, by the way, this time. We don't need the lights off anymore. Oh, the ghost turned the lights on for you. Wait, look on the floor. He did throw something. He threw a cup. Alright, so go over to the bed. Crouch. Or actually, press F. Okay, yeah, so crouch. Walk towards it and press F. Okay, good. So now you're gonna get up and you're gonna walk back to the van. Oh my. You see it? Uh, you just. This right thing? There. Yep. So pick that up. Okay. Okay. So now go back into the ghost room and I'm gonna tell you what to do, okay? Because this is where it's fun. So. You get to talk to the ghost. So the first thing I want you to ask it is to ask it if it's there. Okay, so say like, are you here? Okay, so, oh, turn the lights off. So turn the lights back on. Uh, check the book, empty. Okay, so go in the corner by the mirror, just because you can see the entire room. Turn around. Hold down V and say, are you here? Are you here? Oh? Hold down V again and say, where are you? Where are you? So keep doing that and just kind of ask it questions. Keep doing Are you here? Ask how old it is. Why is the numbers going down? It's fine. It doesn't matter. How old are you? There's no ghost here. No, no, there definitely is. Did you not see that door just open by itself? No. Did you open the door? Are you tricking me? Ask it how many people it's killed. How many people have you killed? Why didn't you write in my book? Ask it to write in the book. Can you write something in my book? Why don't you open the book see you? Uh oh. Look up. Do not do that. <laughs> So you want to constantly be like, okay, so if we walk back a little bit, you can see. Oh. Ah! Sorry. So we're going to do it so we can pretty much see the entire room. Okay? So now we can see pretty much the entire room. We can see if the ghost pops up. So hold on V and ask us some more questions. Why are you flickering the light? Why did you throw my mug? Ask him to give you a sign. Give me a sign. Show yourself! Okay. Nothing detected. There are no ghosts here. Alright, so I don't think we're getting spirit box. Um, and that's because I remember spirit box doesn't work if the lights are on. So go turn the lights off, go back into that spot. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that you had to turn the lights off. So only turn the one in the room off. Alright, so now go back into that corner. The light draw. Alright, so it's gonna get you back into that spot where you can see like everything. Back it up. Alright, so ask it some more questions. Now will you talk to me? Because I turn the lights off. Ask how old it is. How old are you? Ask if it's killed anyone. Have you killed anybody? Why did you throw my bug? Ask it to show itself. Show yourself. Uh-oh, I saw the door move. Oh? Show yourself again. Say... Ah! seeing the ghost. It didn't look like a ghost. It looked like a freaking zombie or something. <laughs> oh, that's from the lights again. 
Okay, so by this point, uh, the room should be should now be cold. If the ghost is freezing temperature ghost, the room will drop to freezing, and you can see your breath in this room. Then write that in the last page of your journal. If not, go to the next room. So we were just in there and we weren't really seeing anything, so I would say go to the next room. How many steps are there? There's quite a few. So grab a UV light, a uh, UV light torch, whatever, from the truck. Scan all the doors, windows, light switches around the ghost using the light for fingerprints. If you spot a fingerprint, then write it down the, on the last page of your journal. If not, then go to the next room. So we're gonna go get the UV light. So head to the truck, and I'll tell you which one's the UV light. So we'll grab that one. Go closer to it. All right, so now head back into the room, and I'll tell you when to turn it on. So don't go fully into the room, but stand right outside the door, and then right click on the flashlight, and just look at the door and see if you see any difference. This door or the one it was in? The one it was in. All right, so right click, and first check that light switch. All right, so press T. Now the light switch. Okay, nothing there, so check the door now. The door. Oh! Alright, so that's a handprint. So what we're going to do is you're going to press J. Press the double uh, arrow button at the bottom right. And then on evidence one, click the right arrow until it says fingerprints. Okay, so now press escape. Okay, good. So go into the room and check the light switches and doors for more fingerprints. Oh, we got one there. Check the windows, maybe. Right, nothing on the windows. Check the other door. Oh, we got one in there, too. Okay, so we got a lot of fingerprints. Uh, just check the, f um... Check the light switch one more time. Oh, they wrote on the book. Do you see that? Look at the book. Ew. Alright, so press J. And under evidence 2, click on the right arrow until it says ghost writing. Alright, so oh, under ghost type, so you see at the very bottom, click the right arrow. So it's either spirit or revenant. Okay, so it's either spirit or revenant. So, uh, go back to the TV, and let's see what we're working for. Let's hope it's not Revenant, because the Revenant is the most aggressive ghost in the game. Oh, great. <laughs> There's a mark here, too. There's a fingerprint on there, too. Okay. So, yeah. So, head over to the TV. And see what the next one is. Grab your EMF reader from the truck and scan objects around the ghost um, uh, that it interacts with. Uh, the EMF reader lights up red level 5, then write it on the last page of your journal. So you still have the EMF reader in your uh, inventory, so press Q again. Press Q. So now right click. I'm just going to go in the room and walk around a little bit and see if we get any readings. Okay, so that's what you call an EMF level five. So we're gonna mark that down. So open up your journal, and under evidence found three, press EMF five, and we'll see what ghost type it is. How do you tell? So press the arrow under ghost type. Of course, it's a revenant. Oh okay. lord. Now, uh, you can drop the EMF reader. So now we know what type of ghost it is. Now there might be one or two more things they want us to do. So press G to drop it. Um, now go over to the TV. There's a couple more things I want you to do specifically just so I can get more money. <laughs> so press the remote again. Alright, now you should have all three pieces of evidence on the last page of your ghost. Uh, type that, discover, and back in the truck, close the room. Um, okay, so before we do that, I want you to head to the truck and grab a photo camera. We're going to take some pictures, okay? So we want to take pictures of the interaction and the fingerprints and stuff in the, uh, the ghost book. And then we'll be good to go. 
And if you want, we can try and get a photo of the ghost. We'll try and do that, maybe. Okay, so look at the uh, last shelf behind you. Do you see there's three photo cameras there? Pick up one. Again, you're too far away from it. Alright, so press Q until you swap to it. Alright, so good. So walk into the ghost room and I'll tell you what to take a picture of, okay? So press escape. So now look at the light switch in that room. Right click. Now press J. See if you counted. Okay, good. So press escape. So now look at the mug that fell on the floor. Uh, take a picture of that. Alright, now press J. See? Oh, that didn't count as anything. Alright. Apparently, mug being thrown doesn't count as interaction. Uh, but now I want you to take a picture of the book on the bed. So right click, and press J. Okay, so that count as fingerprints, so take a photo of that again, just in that exact same spot. Because fingerprints have priority over interaction for some reason. So press J again. Press the next arrow on the right side. Okay, that count as interaction. So you filled up, you filled out your camera, so press G. Go back and grab another camera. So once you figure out the ghost, or like as you're figuring out the ghost, this is what you want to do. If you find visual, like things like that, like dirty water, um, the ghost popping up, um, fingerprints, interaction, you want to take a picture of that uh, usually. Because if you take a picture of that, you, get, you gain money. The more pictures you have of interaction and evidence, the more money you get. So just pick up another one. And then you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to take a picture of the two doors. The one going to the bathroom and the one going to the closet. And then we're also going to try to get a photo of the ghost before we leave. In that same room? Yes. Now don't, be, now don't freak out when it, the ghost pops up. Just look at the ghost and right click, okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, so, okay, and then look at that other door and right click. Alright, so press J. None of those counted. Okay, so head over to the what the door that's open more. Walk over to it and right click. All right, so press J. All right, that's fine. Um, so now what I want you to do is go into the corner again and just ask it to show itself until it shows itself. Okay, and when it shows when it pops up, right click. Gotta get a photo of it. Show yourself. Hold on, B. Show yourself. So, we want to look. It spawned over by the door last time, so we're gonna look right here. Yeah, ask it to show itself. Keep asking. Then once it happens, just click right click. Nothing else, just right click, okay? Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Show yourself. Come scare me, please. Okay, we're gonna try to turn the light off because that worked last time. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do that real quick for you. Alright, so just ask it to show itself, and when it pops up, don't do anything besides. Right show yourself. Show yourself, please. Keep asking. Show yourself. Keep 
Control yourself. It's gonna jump out and scare the crap out of me, I know it. Control yourself. All you have to do is right click when it pops up. Yeah, out. sure. You don't have to worry about hunting because it won't hunt in this. Control yourself. Aw, come on. Why do you play these games with me? What do I do now? Just keep asking it to show itself. Show it yourself. Oh jeez, I heard a noise. It keeps opening the door, yeah. Show yourself. I'm surprised it's not popping up. This is a Revenant. Revenants are like one of the, the most aggressive ghosts in the game. It's faster than the player during a hunt, so it can kill you. Great. No, it, it doesn't hunt in training. It does not hunt in training. It Show yourself. Passes. Don't turn the light off. Oh, man. We'll be done after this, okay? We get to leave. Just turn the light off uh, and look at that same direction. Just keep asking it to show. Okay. You know, we want to look more straight instead of down. Because that's where it spawned last time and it came in. Ah! I'm really curtain. Alright, good. So just stay right there. Show yourself. Aw, oh, come on! <laughs> really, ghost? <laughs> Revenant? Whatever you are. Alright, go turn the lights off again. Can't you just show yourself, please? You want me to do it? We're getting emo. Okay. We're getting somewhere with this. Well, I mean, is it ever gonna come out? I'm surprised actually it's not coming out. That's because I'm playing it. It's gonna do everything to mess with me. Is that good? Nope, walk forward a little bit more. Okay, yeah, that's perfect. Show yourself. Say manifest. Manifest. Say manifest yourself. Manifest yourself. Just keep asking it to show itself until it does. Oh my god. You gotta do show it. Show yourself. You gotta get the photo of the ghost. I wanna go to bed sometime tonight. Show yourself. You mess going on, so it might do it. Just keep asking, keep going. Keep show going. yourself, show yourself. Keep going. Manifest yourself. I swear. Ugh. Do I have to turn the lights off again? All right, we don't need a photo of the ghost. We'll get a photo of the ghost next time. I wanted to get a photo of the ghost because that's the most valuable photo you can get in the game. Well, he's obviously messing with me, so. That's all right. Um, so you can just head back to the truck and we can uh, end the match. Or I can walk into the door. Yeah, that works too. Because the ghost closed the door <laughs> on me. <laughs> Good job, high five. Alright, so now you have everything marked down, look at the uh, keypad and right, uh, left click on the keypad. The, the one you used to open, the, the door, the truck. The, the blue glowing keypad behind oh. you. Oh, where is it? Over there. Oh, way back here? Yeah. Why did you let me walk past it? But I didn't know you were going to walk past it, so left click it. Good, go closer to it. Remember, always it's in the center of your screen. Alright, there you go. We did. So we saw the ghost, that's all we need. Um, although I would have liked to get a photo of the ghost, that would have been nice. Alright, let's see. Can we do it? Look at the, look at the board. Look at what? Look at the board. So press space. Alright, training complete. The ghost was a revenant. Your training is now over, and you are now a ready to join up with other ghost hunters and record the paranormal. Uh, complete ghost hunting objectives to receive awards uh, which will let you buy extra equipment. Alright, so click resume. And that's going to be the end of today's episode. We went 20 minutes over what I normally record for. Um, <laughs> but either way, that was uh, fun. If you want to see me drag my mom into another episode of Phasmophobia, make sure to smash that like button if we can get 10 likes and I'll do it. 
Um, and yeah, with that being said, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, ring that notification bell. I'll see you guys next time. And really quickly before we go, if we can get 20 likes, I'll make her do it in VR. Oh, Goodbye! No.